All right, I'm gonna walk you through the process of how I made my screen printed logo. So first thing, I'm just making like a wall of ink along the top edge of my screen. Um, you can see I've only got it taped at one edge. That's because I found with my tiny screen, if I taped it at a bunch of different sides, the screen would kind of bubble up uh, and wouldn't sit flat on the polypropylene plastic that I'm printing onto. So I make the, the big like wall of ink especially thick above the logo because there's more um, logo to fill at that point. So now I'm reaching for my squeegee. Okay, so I'm gonna like grab the wall of ink and pull it over the mesh and print underneath. I've got it at about a 45 degree angle, 45 to 30 I think is where you want it to be. So I'm doing my first pass now. I'm not pressing down super hard, I'm just pretty gentle. Okay, so now I'm just keeping the ink on the bottom and I'm going down more to a 30 degree as opposed to a 45 degree angle and pulling over top of my logo and then gently removing it. So I'm, there's a bunch of ink stuck on there. So now I'm putting it back into the uh, Jacquard screen printing ink thing so as not to waste anything. I've got a tiny little piece of plastic there that I'm using to lift up the corner and then with one hand I'm holding the plastic I'm printing onto down and with the other I'm pulling it off. And as you can see, I got a really nice impression. Trust me, it took me a lot of fiddling around to figure out how I would get such a nice impression. But there it is, super happy with it. So this is how they came out looking, not absolutely perfect, um, but really good, um, totally good enough for my purposes. So if you're interested in screen printing, um, these are like name style um, fascia for hi-fi components, or just generally interested in printing uh, screen printing onto plastic, polypropylene specifically, you can check out the link in the description below. You'll see a full blog post where I explain the full process.